What's going on? We made it to month two. Month two. Yeah, it's April now, right? Yeah, yeah. episode six. Hmm. Doing good. What do we? Yeah. What do we? Uh, is there is there like some celebration for six or? There no. is. Well, first of all, this is going to be a very yummy episode, but Ooh. we're also drinking my favorite whiskey today. Ooh. Mostly because it goes with the yummies that go with today's episode. You can't do this to us. Yeah, we're doing it. Okay. All what right. Is my it? favorite whiskey is Angel Envy's Rye, finished in a rum barrel. Mm. It is so good. It's very right. good. I'm, this bottle's already open, but I'm going to crack it open and pour us some. Okay. Ooh. It's a nice, low... It was nice. Ooh. You're going to have a good right. time with this. How many fingers do you want? Uh, uh, can I have two? Yeah. Is your fa- uh, I know. Mm. It's my favorite. I'm a little uh, stingy, but... Maybe I'll let you drink a couple of the... Yeah. Or maybe I'll switch halfway. That way I don't drink your favorite bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a oh, share. Time for the reach. Today. Bourbon has been acquired. It's rye, sir. Oh, excuse me. Rye. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm so used to bourbon. <laughs> got some in my hand. I have to lick my hand now. Oh, dear. Mm, good. All right. Uh, cheers to episode six. Indeed. Um, You said this is going to be a yummy episode. Why is it uh, going to be yummy? We're talking about chocolate today. Oh, my gosh. It's yeah. like a dream come true. It's going to be real yummy. But before that, I want to remind everybody to please like, share, subscribe, If you're on a platform that has comments, please do that. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, at I'll Take My Science Neat, or My Science Neat on Twitter and on Instagram. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just please also consider becoming a patron. It's $5 a month. You get five bucks. Let's think for a second. What can you get with five dollars? Uh, you could get those five dollar foot longs from Subway. You can get anything at five and below. Five and below, yeah. Or you could, you know, support us, and what you get is like mm, five extra episodes a month. Yep, yep. You get coffee yeah. break, which is thirty to forty-five minutes long, and and you get what like four of those, and then you get an extra episode, which is usually over an hour. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. So please consider joining. If you go to our website, I'll take my science dot com. There'll be an option at the top to support us. It'll take you to the patron page. There's a video of what we're all about. Please watch it and consider supporting us for the extra content. Right. And if you're on our Podbean uh, website, there literally is a button that says become a patron. You click on that and go right over there and you can watch the video why we're doing this, uh, which is we're trying to bring science back to the front we're trying to inspire a new generation we're trying to get people interested in science because we feel like a lot of people have been numb to science because a lot of politicians news outlets and you know people who claim that they're doctors of different science uh you know try to just you know throw out research without any sort of citation or references or giving like credit to the authors you know those sort of things we're trying to bring back excitement about cool, exciting, and neat science. Like space. Well, well, like space. And also, we're trying to equip you, the everyday person, to look up those articles, learn how to read articles, where to find them, how to check citations. So we want you guys to be more involved in the scientific community as well. And to celebrate all of science, you know what we do every two weeks? We do a giveaway. We do a giveaway. Yeah, we do. Of some awesome artwork merch. Yeah, it's all science related merch. This So we time, just we just yeah. gave away the podcast. It was so canvas. cute. It's going to somebody. They've got it. It's awesome. They're gonna put it in their house and it's gonna look beautiful. This time we are giving away a pillow. Mm, and big pillow. Eighteen by eighteen. Eighteen by eighteen. It's big. It's Full really color. cute. You can see the picture on the website. Mm-hmm. And it's Moogle Scholar. So if you're a Final Fantasy fan or you just like really cute animal guys, it is a Moogle with a little graduation cap and a little book. And, and he's you did reading. the design. I did do the design. And it's Moogle Scholar as a play on Google Scholar because, mm-hmm. you know, we always encourage you guys to go to Google Scholar and look up articles. So check out that really, really cute pillow. Right. Go to I'll take my science neat dot com. Literally at the top of the page, it says, hey, giveaway. You click on enter now. You put in your information. We just require you to give an email address to us to subscribe to our newsletter. We are going to get more information about this show. And trust me, we're, I'm not the kind of person that's going to start spamming you nonstop. I know a lot of 
other YouTubers and podcasters will do that sort of thing. I'm more like, like, hey, uh, we have some new merch, and you're maybe going to get like one to three emails a from week. us a week. Yeah. yeah. So not a big deal. Uh, and you get to stay in touch with us. Uh, a lot of cool things that happen for patrons. You're going to get a little bit of that in the emails, too, to kind of understand what we're doing. Um, but yeah, go enter that giveaway because the only thing that we require is that email address. And then when you put that in, there is so many ways you can get extra entries. Yeah. Sharing a tweet. Uh, well, excuse me. It's retweeting a tweet. Retweeting. Uh, and following us on Instagram to see all the crazy stuff that we put up. Uh, if you follow me, I put up artwork that I'm working on. Mm-hmm. Um, like, uh, uh, you know, Cloud Strife's uh, bike. Yeah, you're working on that right now. It's yep. pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is the Hardy Daytona. I need one in real life. I've not got one yet, but uh, I'm <laughs> He keeps trying up. to negotiate. Yeah, I, I call up Shinra and go, hey, uh, you guys got any extra of those Hardy Daytonas? And they're like, <laughs> nope, uh, we're just here for the Mako. I'm like, okay. All right. Um, anyway, yeah, so make sure you enter that giveaway and check out our shop if you you know want to see uh, any of this cool merch that we're talking about. Yeah, there's a we... lot of really cool designs, and there's T-shirts, tote bags, notebooks, kitchen stuff, so just check it out. What's um, your favorite design? I'm just curious because I think I've I've done 90% of the design so far. Yeah. I mean, I'm partial to the ones I did. <laughs> I, I like okay. Podcats was my favorite Yeah, for a long, long time. We just gave that one away. Um, and I have a Podcats tank top. It's super, super cute. I think Moogle Scholar might have topped the list for me. Moogle that Scholar. one is so cute. Ooh, man. Um, I'm going to have to agree with you. Yeah. Because, well, I mean, so far... Because if, if anyone who knows me, I love Final Fantasy. You're wearing a Moogle shirt right I'm now. Really, yeah. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Yeah, I'm literally <laughs> wearing a Moogle shirt now. It says save the game. Uh, and for those of you, that that's like a reference to Final Fantasy IX because you go to a Moogle and you save the game. Anyway, I can nerd out about Moogles all day long, but that is one of the cutest freaking shirts and artwork I've ever seen. And... On a pillow, it looks absolutely amazing. Yeah. So anyway, be looking for that. Make sure to look at our shop. Uh, go and uh, make sure you're subscribed. If you're not, enter that giveaway and subscribe to us. You're gonna get some awesome content. So what do we? You, you said chocolate. Yeah, right? we're talking about chocolate. We're gonna be talking mm, about a little bit how tasty. it's made, how it tastes, how it affects our bodies. Mm. But before that, I want to play a game. Oh no! All right, are you ready? Because is, oh wait, this oh. is the first episode of the month. You know what that means? I could get. I could win. Yeah. It is Battle of the Wits. We're going to do it the first episode of every month. Who, whoever wins gets to have the really, really cool mahogany harpy eagle statue for the whole month. You I'm versus it. me. I, I have it right now. I know you, you do. You. I'm, 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 I'm salty. Okay, look. You, you got last, last month's, all right? You were so cool with all your animal <laughs> stuff. But now it's chocolate and I'm fat. Yeah. So this is easy. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, well... This is my, this is my turf. <laughs> we're going to see who's the reigning champion of chocolate this week. Okay. Are you ready for the first game? Yeah, so so this game, right, I will get a point if I get whatever it is Correct. right. Correct. If you um, get it right, you get one point. And then we're going to later do one for you. You could get a bonus point if you get that right. Right, and then, and then the then... big battle of the wits is going to be at the end. So everybody stay tuned to the end of the episode yeah, for that. Yeah, guys, and you can play along, and I'm going to win. <laughs> I don't know about this. I'm, yeah, I'm vibing really hard tonight. All right, all right. You ready? Yep, go for it. Okay, I'm going to give you the title of three science articles. Okay, three science articles. The only right, problem is two of them are fake. Oh. One of them is real. Yeah. I'm also going to give you a pretty, like, a real short description. Okay. All right, all right. and I want you to guess which one is real. Mm, okay. All right, are you ready? Yes, hit me. Number one, bite marks in chocolate, a case report. This mm, is a study about investigating a theft at a chocolate factory and how they used bite marks in the chocolate to find the thief. The next one is called <laughs> a nuclear chocolate box. Um, and it's about the radiation and radioactive components in chocolate. Oh, wow. And the last one is called chocolate and Stockholm syndrome. Um, and this is about how increasing... Your chocolate intake can increase the degree of psychological influence people have on you. Oh, my gosh. Wow. This is so hard. These all sound really fake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is real. One of them is real. You're not playing with me. I'm not playing okay. with you. Okay. Oh, man. So we've got... All right. The first one is... Bite, bite marks, marks in chocolate, a case and the, report. And they found the, the culprit. 
with the bite mark? The thief in a chocolate factory from bite marks in the wow. chocolate. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. And then the second one was uh, a nuclear chocolate box. It's about the radioactive components in chocolate. Oh, that's cool. Uh, and then the last one is Stockholm syndrome. Chocolate, chocolate and being Stockholm linked to syndrome. It. Yep. Ooh. Um. Hmm. Mm, I really got to think about this, guys. This is going to be a little tough. Uh, so I'm going to say that with Stockholm syndrome uh, it being linked to it, I mean, uh, I don't know. Uh, the other one sounds so cool. Um, what was the title of the first one again? Bite marks in chocolate: a case report. Hmm. A case report. Oh, it sounds so like policey. Like we got the guy. He, he bit into this caramel delight. <laughs> we got him. And we put him away for twenty years. Sarah, we just find him five hundred dollars. I have twenty years instead. It's five hundred dollars. <laughs> um, mm, mm, this is tough. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put. I'm I'm not gonna do radioactive. Okay. I'm not going to do radioactive. I, I feel like that sounds cool, but I don't remember chocolate having any sort of radioactive qualities. Um, Stockholm syndrome, I could maybe see. I think I'm. I think I'm going to go with bite marks. Is that your final answer? Mm, yes. You're correct. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Woo! I was so sure I was going to stump you up. So I have um the abstract. Uh, police, it was published in the journal for Forensic Odontostomatology. Whoa. In 2000. What's police stomatology? Invest- uh, I don't even know. Odonto is teeth. Okay. Uh, I don't know what stomatology is. But look it we up. Look we it don't up. know. <laughs> um, but police investigated theft from a chocolate factory recovering three pieces of chocolate with irregular fractured surfaces displaying patterns of marks by human teeth. A highly accurate dental impression was made of these marks and microphotographed, and they were able to confirm that they were human teeth, and then they matched them to the suspect's teeth. Wow. That is awesome. Yeah. And I got it right. <laughs> All right. You're one point up, so one we'll point. see how the rest of today goes. Mm, but, okay. Yeah. So today's about chocolate, and the first study we're going to talk about um, actually talks about how chocolate is made. Okay. And so the title of this article is Fermentation of Cocoa Beans, Influence of Microbial Activity and Polyphenol Concentrations on Flavor. Oh. Um, And cocoa, interestingly, is the word of this week to get extra points on the giveaway. Oh, I see what you did there. You know what we call that? A segue. A segue. So So that is spelled C O. C O A, all capitalized, all capitalized, one word. So you go to that giveaway. You go to I t- I'll take my science neat dot com. You go to enter giveaway, enter now for that amazing Moogle Scholar pillow. Okay, when you go there, you type in your little email address, subscribe to our newsletter. Trust mm-hmm. me, we won't spam you. And you'll see an option for secret code. Okay, go down there, click on that, and you're going to put in the secret word that is Coco C O C O A. All capitalized. Secret right. words are cool. Yeah. I, right, I, I was drinking. I, would, I mean, it, it, he was a good guy. He was a secret guy. We called him Coco. <laughs> That's the kind of agent I want to be. Yeah, Coco. Agent Coco. Agent Coco. All right. Private so th- this paper has a lot of authors, but I want to thank them all. Are you ready? Yep, let's do it. Nicholas Camus. Tom DeWinter. Solomon Addo, Jemmy Takrama, Herwig Bernard, and Luke De Voist. I'm sorry about that last one. I, I'm not sure how that is Those pronounced. are some of the coolest names I think I've ever heard. Yeah, I think this study was done in wow. Italy. So, so these are Italians, presumably. So not only do they do amazing research, but they also have probably the, one of the, you know, some of the coolest names I've ever heard. So Yeah, Tom, mm. Tom De Winter could be your agent Coco. I... Tom De Winter. It was a dark night that night, and he was walking. He saw Charlie go into the chocolate factory. Oh, Agent no. Coco at work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This was published in the Journal of Science of Food and Agriculture. Okay. 
and was funded by a bunch of different places, which are not all in English. Mm. Um, it was funded by the Research Council of a university in Brussels. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. <laughs> um, it was funded by the Fund for Scientific Research in Flanders and the Institute for the Promotion of Innovation through Science and Technology in Flanders. Okay, Flanders, that's the guy off the Simpsons, right? So, like, it's his <laughs> there? It's, yeah. I, I don't think yep, they're that's toilet. the one. Is that the one? Okay. No. <laughs> All right. So, this Howdy paper you, is really yes. interesting. It's about how fermentation and the process of making chocolate mm-hmm. induces the flavors that are in chocolate. Mm-hmm. And so, what's I actually didn't know, cocoa beans don't have the flavor of cocoa at all until you ferment them excuse me i know and so fermentation is like what we do to alcohol you know you put bacteria in it they produce ethanol and they produce lots of other byproducts and it creates flavor and so what's actually interesting is the the byproducts of fermentation get through the husk of the bean they kill the bean and then they go through all these chemical reactions and produce what they were calling like pre-flavors and uh-huh. then the pre-flavors, once they roast the beans, become the, like, real flavors. Real flavor. They evolve yeah. into the cocoa. Yeah. It was pretty mm. cool. Um, and the link to this paper is linked in the description. So if you want to go read the whole thing, because both of the papers today were really long and really cool, mm-hmm. and I'm only touching the highlights. So if you want to go read the full thing, this one was really chemistry heavy. Actually, the other one is, too. So if you are interested in chemistry or and know what all the chemical words mean, I would highly suggest checking out the full paper. Oh, see, we should have done kitchen chemistry as chocolate. Oh, I know. That would have been really good. It would have been cool. I, I still like the ramen. Yeah. Mm, yeah. We have a t-shirt that's called kitchen chemistry. You should check it out. It's super cool. Uh, so uh, something interesting about that, I didn't know, mm-hmm. that a cacao bean, which is C-A-C-A-O, right. is a bean that's not been roasted yet. Right. So a cacao becomes cocoa after roasting. After roasting. So if someone asks you, see, you can sound really smart. You can be like, uh, well, you say, uh, if it's a cacao bean, it's before the roasting, uh, after it's been roasting, it becomes cocoa. So smart. So smart. I mean, and you have to have a scarf and like a, you know, like a cool hat and like, you know, glasses. You know? Or like a hipster man bun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Babe, I think I want to grow out a man bun. <laughs> no. Uh, no. All right. right. I got so, the beard. <laughs> what this study did was they went to two different farms that ferment cocoa. And they basically watched their fermentation piles. So what the farmers do is they just make big piles of Mm -hmm. cacao beans and they just let them ferment. And these fermentation piles were different sizes. It was different seasons. It was different temperatures. Like there were a whole bunch of different conditions. And so they just let the farmers do what they do. They measured all these different things and then they checked out how it affected the flavor. Oh, wow. Like the amount of time fermentation, uh, fermentation happened? Um, I don't think it was time. I think it was like size of the pile, temperature outside, amount of rainfall, oh, wow. season. So other parameters. Yeah, other Ooh, parameters. That's cool. Um, And then they also, as they were fermenting, they measured like what kind of chemical. So different bacteria, as they're going through the fermentation process, produce different chemical byproducts. Huh. And so the amount and kinds of bacteria you have in the pile will massively affect what kind of chemicals you have and what kind of chemical reactions are having. And what they found was that even though all the cacao beans were from the same trees, Mm -hmm. all these external variables affected what kind of bacteria they had. And so they had like totally different sort of bacterial reactions happening. It was really cool. Wow, that's neat. And, uh, you know, I was also thinking I'm in the wrong kind of science because after the fermentation... They made chocolate, and then they ate chocolate as part of the study. Excuse me? Yeah, I'm out at like 4 a.m. watching birds, and they're sitting around eating chocolate. Eating chocolate. Yeah. For science. Yeah. Okay, sign me up. What's their email on these guys? Yeah. Well, okay. their email's probably in the paper. I didn't write it down. Look, I'll, I'll give you my resume, okay? I'll talk to you. I, I've done a lot of different things. I used to taste pizza and make it. You yeah. Know, I could totally do this, all right? I can taste some chocolate for right? you. Right. That's you know. a study I would volunteer to help with. Yeah, exactly. Um, it was funny. I know. Cat just literally fell. Like we're talking, and then all of a sudden, just <laughs> out of the corner of my eye, thunk. Like, excuse <laughs> you. Oh, she's very cute. Yeah, oh, she Zelda. is. All right, so they were looking at all these heaps. They had seven different heaps across mm. two farms, and what they found was that all of the heaps contained like the normal byproducts of. 
bacteria respiration. So they had ethanol, lactic acid, yeah, acetic of acid. You do. Yeah. yeah, like normal well, yeah, stuff. Normal. You don't have ethanol in your piles? Right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they did find, like I mentioned, that the temperature and the pH were really big effectors of okay. what bacteria mm. were there and therefore what chemical reactions and what flavors they got. That's cool. Um, and I also thought it was cool. So they, t- they talked about polyphenols in the, uh, in the title. Okay. And I just wanted to mention polyphenols are a major compound that's responsible for bitterness. Okay. Um, and I didn't actually realize because, like, if you've ever had just straight cocoa that hasn't been sweetened at all, it's really bitter. And so I figured, like, there it might increase the polyphenols or something like that. But actually, fermentation decreases the amount of polyphenols, and then roasting decreases it even more. Oh wow! So if you think of how bitter, like, straight up cocoa is, the original, like, the cat, the cacao is like even more bitter. Wow! So polyphen. Polyphenol. I can't even say that word. Polyphenol. Okay. What what is that exactly? It's just a chemical. It's a chemical, and actually, um, it's in a lot of like plant products, and is produced by like the stress of plants. So if <laughs> no, I mean it that's was a real. hard work week. Yeah. You know. Gosh, I'm just so. Their stressed. girlfriend's been yelling at them. Yeah. Yeah. They're about to break up. It's yeah. Really no. Tough. It's like if. <laughs> If there's been a lot of animals that have been, like, eating their leaves or if they're in, like, way too much sunlight and it's not the right amount of sunlight for them. I feel that. I need a glass of water after that. Yeah. So they produce these polyphenols and um, they actually evaporate over time uh, out of the cacao. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, And so after all this, they did this taste test, which if you stick around or if you join the patron program and stick around for our coffee break... We're actually going to simulate doing it. their taste test with all yeah. their methods, and we're going to taste some some of the major chocolate brands you can find at the store, and right, we'll let right. you know. Hershey's is in there. Yeah, yeah Dove is in there. Dove and Cadbury. Cadbury's is that, okay. in there. Yeah, um, we're, gonna, we're blind taste test, right? Yeah, we're blind mm-hmm. test testing, mm-hmm. and they have like Science. eight categories that they had to score. So if you want to, if you want to hear what all how all the different chocolate bars score, tune into our coffee break. It's, I'm going to add that to my resume when I contact these people. Like, look, I did it on air. Chocolate I mean, taste tester. I'm 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 literally qualified. An for this expert. Job. Yeah, and bourbon. <laughs> uh, if you have any yeah. bur- bourbon to say uh, uh, test as yeah. well, I got gotcha. you. You know, if you go to Angel Envy and do their tasting, they pair chocolates with their. They do because rye. I mean, it's amazing. You know, FYI, if you do, if you don't like bourbon that much, I mean, you can kind of dilute it with like an ice cube or something. But it has a different taste based off of what you're eating, and so if you're eating chocolate, you're going to get a sweeter taste out of that bourbon. So it's really cool because bourbon, you can basically eat something with it and get a different taste. It's so cool, right? Yeah, and bourbon so the science. big take home of this paper um i mean i kind of already said it but basically the flavor of chocolate Mm -hmm. is dependent it can be the same tree that made the cacao beans it can be the same farm it can be the same everything but the flavor is entirely dependent on the fermentation conditions so temperature rainfall ph um and the microbial variability in the pile and that's it that's like where all the different flavors come from wow that's cool Wow. So I, I I mean, I just always assume, I mean, because I know that like there's different chocolate bars. Uh huh. Like I've always thought Hershey's tasted different than other chocolate, you know? So I'm sure it's their process is different somehow. Right. But I always just assumed it was probably the ingredients and that had the most impact. But you're telling me that it could be like. It's probably thing. both. It's probably the fermentation process plus the mixture of ingredients they That's use. That's super cool. A cat fell again. <laughs> This they're is really what we get for that. having the cats while we record. Yeah, they're really, really good at that. All right. We land on all fours, right side up most of the time. It's true. Depends on if they had bourbon or not. If you want to hear more cat antics and you want to hear more about chocolate, stay tuned and we will be right back. It was a dark and stormy night that night. I walked down the street, heading to my favorite chocolate factory. That's when I saw her there, the very first time. Her eyes blue, looking in my direction. I stopped to ask her a question. Ma'am, do you know the time? The time... No. Well, 
I appreciate your... Thought? Do I say thought? What do you say there? It says like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Agent Cacao, special agents. Uh, welcome back uh, from the break. We are talking about chocolate. Yeah, we are. And we are also having our Battle of the Wits! Battle of the Wits. Which... It's my turn. I know. I'm really worried about Are this. Are you worried? I really mm. didn't think you were going to get mine mm. earlier. So mm. Yep. I got now it I'm earlier. I'm a point behind. I'm a point up. And it was a bonus point, but I'm sure it's going to help me to win. Uh, all right, babe. All right. Uh, I hope you're ready for this one. I'm nervous. Okay. We're going to get some knowledge here. Okay. All right. Let's do this. I have a question. Okay. Multiple choice. Okay. Okay. So, so that's good. Yeah. All right. Here we go. At what cocoa percentage does chocolate become considered dark chocolate? Ooh. A, 60%. B, 50%. C, 45%. D, 55%. You didn't do them in order. Why would you do that to me? Uh, because that's you know, obviously. So the choices be were 45, 50, 55, 60. Yes. Okay. So the problem is we were at the store earlier looking at chocolate bars, and I really wish I had paid attention. <laughs> because I know there are some labeled milk, and I know most of the darks were labeled like 75, 80. Mm -hmm. But there was a bar labeled 45, but I don't remember if it said dark, dark or not. I think it didn't. Because um, I tried to buy it as like a milk chocolate version, because I like dark chocolate, and you don't as much. Um, this is just an arbitrary <laughs> guess. I can't even logic my way through this. I actually knew before this um writing this down. Well, aren't you fancy? I am pretty fancy. I do like my chocolate. Hey, guys, uh, listen, I can taste test your stuff, all right? Yeah, if there's a chocolate manufacturer <laughs> listening, we'll yeah. taste your chocolate. We'll taste it. Uh, I hate randomly guessing. Mm. Mm. I'm going to say, this is definitely wrong. I, mm, stop making faces sorry. at me. Uh, I'm sorry. Take um, a of my coffee. I hate this. Uh, I'm going to say 55. 55. Final answer. I guess. It's a random guess. Uh, I'm sorry you're wrong. Is it 50? It's 50. I was going to say 50. Woo! I'm so <laughs> mad. I'm a point up. Woo! Oh, I was going to say 50 because I was like, logically, it's half and half. But so, then I was like, no, I don't want It's not that. Based off of Harvard, and we can actually put the link in the description so you can check it out. Uh -huh. They say that 50% uh, is the amount of cocoa nibs required for it to become considered dark chocolate. Now, it is actually a range. It's 50 to 95%. To be considered dark chocolate. Yeah. Milk chocolate is 10% to 45%. Yeah. Now, I do want to... I almost said 50. I'm yeah, going to be salty you're very, all day. You're very close. Uh, now, I also kind of put it in the range because I was like thinking, I was like, if I put 65, that's going to be like an obvious no. You know, like it's not that. But um, it's also important to consider that that's not the only difference between dark and milk chocolate. Yeah. Uh, the milk uh, parameter is also really important as well. And the roasting. So... Go check out the study. It's really cool. Um, it just gives you a little more information about chocolate. And I just, I, I knew that it was 50%, but I didn't know that there was some other parameters there for chocolate. So Wow. All right. I'm salty. Uh, I should have gone with my gut. My gut was 50, and then I tried to logic it, and I ended up with the wrong answer. It's okay. Yeah. Ruined. That second. Ruined. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for our second study? Yeah. What? What's, okay, so... Uh, we're, we're talking about chocolate. We had Agent Cacao earlier uh, talking to some very beautiful woman on the street and asking for the <laughs> time heading to the chocolate factory, you know, and she didn't have a watch, so that was really awkward. Yeah, she was rude. I wonder if he got her number. That's probably no, not. I don't think yeah, so, because he, he stumbled at the end. The time? I don't get no time. Get out of here. I don't got no time for you. <laughs> I ain't got time for you. Mm. <laughs> like, oh, man. <laughs> Sassy lady. I'm out. Um... Yeah, so we're talking about chocolate. Yeah, and in this second study, we're going to talk about whether or not chocolate is a food or a drug. Whoa, what? Yeah. 
So before we get into the nitty gritty, I want to thank the authors. Uh, this was written by Kristen Brunisma and Douglas Taran. I, I swear, these people have the coolest names. People in general have cool names. I just don't think we usually hear I mean, people's I thought names. Rose was really cool. I'm like, man, I'm so happy I got born with Rose. Like, that's awesome. I'm so happy I got to marry into Rose. I mean, I'm happy you married into Rose, too. But I'm just <laughs> saying, Taryn? That sounds cool. Yeah, that's a so, cool last name. So thank you so much for this amazing research that we're about to go into. Uh, this was published in 1999 in the Journal of American Dietetic Association. Oh, okay. Um, this is also a review paper, and they didn't list any funding. Okay. So they so they basically kind of combined Combined research. lots of studies. They cool. cited everything. It's got a citation list, like a million miles long. Cool. Um, and they talk about a lot of different things. A so, million miles long yeah. citation study. <laughs> a citation we, list. Anyway. We, we made our list. It's about ma- a million miles long. It goes from here <laughs> to Mars. So... This might sound a little familiar for the, those of you who tuned in two weeks ago to our video game episode, but I'm which was gonna, a great episode. It was really fun, mm. but I'm going to talk about addiction again, mm. but only for a minute. So we generally think of addictive behaviors as being associated with drug, alcohol, and sexual behavior, um, but it's becoming more and more apparent that some other things like video games or like certain kinds of food could be addictive. Um, and what's interesting about chocolate it's one of the major foods we think about with addiction because it has a lot of chemically active ingredients that interact in our bodies Hmm. that kind of act like drugs it kind of blurs the line between food and drugs i would say my one addiction is coffee yeah i mean that's got caffeine not even like bourbon but yeah yeah i mean i would say coffee and it's roasted bean yeah well it's got caffeine in it which is an ingredient of chocolate oh wow we're gonna talk about that that later cool so instead of talking about addiction specifically, this paper talks about cravings. It mentions addictions mm-hmm. and it says addiction is kind of hard to quantify with chocolate. A lot of people say like, oh, I'm so addicted to chocolate. So addicted. But, but then kind of joking a little bit. Right. You know? And the level of how much they need chocolate is really variable. So instead they talk about cravings. Mm-hmm. And like we said a few weeks ago, it's really important to define your words. So they define craving as an intense periodic motivation aimed at getting the craved substance. See, I know that everyone right now listening is going to be like, I'm really craving chocolate just because of this episode. We started craving just doing the research. Yeah, we, we were, were like, like, I really need some chocolate. I really it's need so it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so what's interesting is in a self-reported survey of people who have chocolate cravings, 40% of women said they had chocolate cravings, whereas only 15% of men had chocolate cravings. Oh, those men are lying. They're lying. Okay. I'm a guy. Come on, guys. Look. All right. Don't try to act manly here. All right. We all know if someone puts a Hershey kiss in front of you, you're eating it. Yeah. Like, have you seen men eat? Yeah. Oh, we my brother has a thing for M&Ms. Stuff. Yeah. And you see? Ca- he cannot not eat M&Ms. And I love Kit Kats. I mean, yeah. Kit Kats are amazing. Right. Yeah. Um. The other thing is that with cravings, three-fourths of the people who have chocolate cravings mm-hmm. said- that no other food, you can't like be craving chocolate and be like, uh, instead I'll have some caramel, caramel. like it yeah. won't, or coffee or anything, like nothing else will satisfy the craving. Ooh. Um, which is interesting because a lot of people conflate, they confuse chocolate cravings with sugar cravings because there is a lot of sugar and fat in chocolate. And so people are like, you're not really craving chocolate, you're craving something sugary and fatty. Wait, and so there's sugar in chocolate? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Can't have it on your keto, or at least not much of it. But oh. um, what's interesting is a guy actually tried to test this. So you've heard of white chocolate, right? Yeah. yeah. So it has milk. It has cocoa butter. It has a lot of the ingredients of chocolate. Mm-hmm. But it's missing the distinctive aroma. It's missing the smell. Yeah, it and does smell different. Yeah, missing all of what they call pharmacological constituents. So these are the things Whoa. like caffeine. Oh, the okay. things in chocolate that actually interact in your body. Oh, wow. Okay. I just thought it smelled different. Like, when you hear white chocolate, you're like, okay, it's made the same. It's just... No, it doesn't have any cocoa bean in it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And so, what's interesting was that he took people who were craving chocolate and gave them either chocolate or white chocolate, and he found that white chocolate actually did not mm. satisfy their cravings. So... 
it really is something about those pharmacological constituents, those other chemicals that are in chocolate specifically that cause the cravings. Wow. So, so can you like get addicted to white chocolate? Like the same I think that's way? probably more like a sugar addiction because there's not much in white chocolate. It's is there like, a vanilla bean in white chocolate? I think there's a vanilla, I think, but vanilla bean is like a whole different whole different whole ballgame. different thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, okay. Very cool. Yeah, and the paper actually goes into a lot of the different chemicals. I'm only gonna touch on one because I don't this is not a chemistry can you lesson. Dumb it down just for me. Yeah, I'll try. Okay, so thank you. <laughs> these are what are called methyl xanthines. I'm not gonna say that word anymore. Okay. It's caffeine. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know that word. Yeah, I know yeah. you do. Um, and so I think most of us know caffeine is a stimulant, and stimulants often have noticeable behavioral effects. Uh, as noted by you chugging coffee you, while I'm wait, saying what? this. Uh, no, <clears throat> <laughs> Nothing happened. Uh, I'm so jittery right now. <laughs> so caffeine actually acts in the brain and it blocks the areas um, where neuroinhibitors, so things that would like calm down your brain, it mm -hmm. blocks them and stops them from acting. So it actually stimulates the brain. Um, and it also stimulates the adrenal gland. So, you know, like, oh, I got a shot of adrenaline, like hyped up. I'm ready to go. Um, it stimulates the adrenal gland to release epinephrine. So that increases your heart rate. It just like it gets you ready to go. Yeah. In the morning, so, it's awesome. Yeah. That's what caffeine does. Um, but researchers think that the caffeine in chocolate doesn't account for the addiction because it mm. or for the cravings because it is so little compared to like a cup of coffee or even a cup of tea. Um, oh, wow. OK. So it's. Not it's not that much. Mm. Um, there's a ton of different chemical compounds that are biologically active. The paper goes into them. Um, if you're interested in that and if you're interested in how they interact in the body, I definitely would recommend checking out the paper in the description. Um, Very cool. But I actually want to go in to the hormonal modulation of chocolate cravings. What? What? Wait, what? What does that mean? Well, you know, like hormones. That's like anything that's... Like estrogen and testosterone? Yeah, like estrogen and testosterone, right? Okay. In this case, I want to talk about specifically about women's hormones, so estrogen and progesterone, Okay. which is the precursor to estrogen. Anyway, I'm going to talk about women PMSing, right? <laughs> so you're about I to have your we period. I knew were going to get there at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. It's science. It is. <laughs> you're about to start your period, and you are like, man, I could go oh for some chocolate. Gosh, I need some chocolate. So they actually think that the ratio of progesterone to estrogen in your body is what regulates food intake and these cravings. I believe it. So progesterone, right? That induces fat storage. So it takes fatty acids out of your blood and puts them into long-term fat storage. Oh, okay. So that drops the level in your blood, right? If you're taking it out of the blood, you're taking fatty acids out. So you have lower fatty acid level in your blood and it triggers you to want to eat more things that are fatty. Oh, okay. Uh, so all of a sudden I have a craving for something, something fatty. fatty. Yeah. Okay. And estrogen does the opposite. So estrogen actually takes fat out of storage and puts it into the blood. And so it decreases your desire to eat fatty foods. And so what happens is as your progesterone and estrogen levels change throughout the monthly cycle of a woman yeah it changes how much they want to eat fatty foods huh okay so um i should probably uh backtrack the whole guys wanting you know yeah some chocolate that yeah. got really awkward so 15 percent of guys have chocolate <laughs> cravings and 40 percent of women say they have chocolate cravings but what i'm actually i'm gonna get off the science topic for a second mm -hmm. because i think this whole craving chocolate when you're PMSing is more cultural than it is um, like an actual physical craving because opinion. Oh, this is a pain. Oh yeah. I'm backing okay. off the science. Opinion. This okay. is opinion because when I'm PMSing, I tell you, I want chocolate, mm -hmm. but I don't actually care if it's chocolate. It could be like a really greasy hamburger or it could be like really anything. I just want like comfort food and I feel miserable and I want to be comforted. And so I almost think this chocolate craving is something that's been set okay. out. Yeah. I as like, that. you know, when I was little, my mom would buy me a bag of chocolate like before my period every month, which was awesome. I loved that. But it was just like, even now you're like, hey, sweetie, like, oh, you, you seem like you're miserable. Do you want some chocolate? And I say, yes. 
but it's, it's not a chocolate craving. It wouldn't have to be chocolate. And that matches this whole progesterone estrogen. It just has to be something. So I have to get you white chocolate is what you're saying. That's disgusting. (laughs) Stay away from me. But what's interesting is the next thing the paper goes into, we're back to science now. Okay, back to science. Yeah. Is that during that premenstrual period, Mm -hmm. the serotonin levels in the body. So that's the neurotransmitter that's like a feel good, right? Yeah. So serotonin, and they actually, serotonin levels in your brain decrease drastically right before your period. Oh. And so, yeah, it's oh. not nice. No. And so what not. they say is that the cravings for things like chocolate, chocolate, when you eat it, gives you a big hike of serotonin, whether you're a man or a woman. Oh. And so they say it could be your body's way to try to balance out the serotonin in your brain. Wow. So you're just, it might be something like, hey, I'm craving that because suddenly I don't have much serotonin. Right. And I know, my body knows that gives me serotonin. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. So there's a lot more to this paper. I totally, totally recommend you go check it out. Read the whole thing. The d- The link is in the comments. But chocolate actually has had a long, long history through ancient Mexico, ancient South America, and then when it was brought to Europe as being used as medicine. Um, mm. You know, they used to teach, you know, like dry tempers or whatever, like hot or cold tempers. And before they really like understood what was happening, but they knew it was having an effect. So... Chocolate actually has huge effects on our bodies, and it's really cool to read the science about it. Yeah, that is really cool. Um, so, the what kind of list should I make for you know before you know you go into um, werewolf mode? I mean, we've Just been married chocolate. a long time at this point. I feel like you can handle that. Chocolate, pizza, burgers, Five Guys. Five you know, Guys is on that. Yeah, on that list right there. Coca Cola, you know, get it right there. <laughs> Yeah, no, not Coca-Cola. It's bubbly. Oh, oh. okay. Bubbly, not good. All yeah. right. Uh, milkshake? I don't know. I don't no. want to talk about any of this right now. Oh. That all <laughs> sounds so heavy. I'm, ask me when I'm getting there. Okay, I will. I'll tell you what I want. <laughs> all right, I'm making a list right now just to pull out. You know. Okay. Well, <laughs> I want everybody chocolate. to stay tuned because when we get back, Ron and I are going to go head to head in a chocolate battle of the wits. Yes. You do not want to miss this. So stay with us and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're back. You ready to do this? I'm so ready. Are you going first? I, I think I am. So what we're doing this first, little guy, okay, is we're going to be reading off lists of ingredients in these candy bars, you know, like you do. Like you do. <laughs> I mean, how many of you actually know what's in your, I don't know, candy that you like? I mean, all these candies contain chocolate in some form. Yes, that is the one caveat. There's when we no decide laffy to do taffies. This. There's no smarties. Right. So throw those out. It has to have chocolate in there. All right, you go first. So I'm going to read the ingredients. I'm going to read it through, and then you have to guess what you think it might be, and that gets you a point. Now, right now, you're one up. I I'm know. one up. And last you week are, I was one up when it, we started, and I smashed you. So I'm not nervous. Last week, last month. Oh, that's what I meant. It's been a while. I'm nervous that that's a mm. bad omen for me. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Mm. All right, babe. Ingredients: corn syrup, sugar. First two don't really. I give know. Me. <laughs> I'm already. Bl- bl- <laughs> We're already in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Vegetable oil. Okay. Then we have a parentheses, and in the parentheses, it's palm oil, shea oil, the sunflower oil, palm kernel oil, and or, <laughs> and or, like they're like, oh, what should we use today? Uh, safflower oil, not sunflower. Okay. Um, next up, dextrose, a dextrose, excuse me, okay. skim milk, reduced protein whey, okay. milk. It says. Chocolate contains 2% or less. Oh, that's never that's, a good sign. That's not a good sign, right? 2% uh, contains 2% or less. Excuse me. It has chocolate in it, but it contains 2% or less of brown sugar. Oh, okay. Mono and diglycerides, whey milk, baking soda, salt, confectioner's glaze, tapioca dextrin, lectin, soy, Vanillion, which is a word I've never heard of before. Artificial flavor is the last ingredient. Oh, what do you all... think 
That's that terrible. could be. Um, mm. Those all just sounded like basic chocolate ingredients. <laughs> it sounded like things that I would not want to eat, um, but we do. <laughs> This is why oh, all geez. of us have cancer. You know? I'm really nervous now that you picked way harder ones than I did. Oh man! Um, See, I was like, I'm a win this month. I'm I was upset. <laughs> oh my god! I, mean, I knew it was about animals last month, but I was like, look, I've got to go in hard this month. Oh, People man. think I'm okay. dumb for something, yeah. Um. Ooh. Um. I'm not gonna give you any hints either. There's glaze in it. Um. I'm nervous that you picked like just chocolate and not an actual candy. You um know. You can do it. Um, I believe in you. But I really want you to lose. Hey guys, if you're listening right now, you need to go to I'll take my dot com. Enter that giveaway, okay? For that amazing Moogle Scholar pillow. I wanna say it's something that has chocolate and caramel in it. Chocolate and caramel. Okay. I'm feeling like extra sugary. Extra. <laughs> what okay. kind of candies just have chocolate and caramel? Mm, I don't know. Um. Well, aren't there like risin candies? Risin candies. They're like I really like them. They're like. You mean raisin candies? No. No. That okay. must not be it because you don't know what I'm saying. I've never. I, well, I, I literally thought raisin. No, um, it's like R I S I N G risin. It. Yeah, I'm going to say it's not it's that. Not the, okay. Yeah, I, I've never heard of Ryzen. But, I mean, you might be on something with caramel. Um, what candies are just chocolate and caramel? What I wish candy? I ate more candy now. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, well, I think we all need more candy in our life. <laughs> you know? And I can taste test. Um, oh. Well, like Milky Ways and whatever have caramel, but they have other ingredients like peanuts or something. I don't know. Um, I think they do. Maybe. Mm. Um, I'm gonna take a swig of my amazing rye. Oh, this is terrible! Come I need on, to drink other things too. Like, I think we might try vodka one day. We have a really good gin on the shelf. We mm. should drink that. Yeah, what it's is a, a local distillery? What's the proof of this? Oh, I don't know. I've never checked. Is it like eighty-five? It's distracting me. Sorry. It's- a hundred proof. Hundred. Oh man! Wow, it's so so nice. It's amazing. Agent. Yeah. If you get a chance, go check out Angel Ivy. Okay, really Kitty good. Tifa. Do you know what candies have chocolate and caramel? Hmm. She's not helping me. She's taking a bath. Yeah, I mean, dolphin kick. Tifa. Like cats yeah. do. Yep. I don't know. Um. I don't know any candies. Uh, I'm I mean, gonna say Milky Way. That's definitely wrong. Milky Way. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was it? It was Milk Duds. Oh, I feel so yeah, dumb. Milk it, duds. Okay, but it was chocolate and caramel, so I'm- You got I, pretty close, I yeah. don't want a point, like, but I'm oh, feeling justified. No, you're not good. All right, no. are you the ready? Chocolate, you got to name the candy. I know. All right, all right, I'm going to- Yo, right. bro, I'm the science bro. I'm going to get this one. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Sugar. Okay. Corn syrup. Mm. High fructose corn syrup. Mm-hmm. Skim milk. Okay. Vegetable oil. It sounds like milk duds almost. Parentheses. I know. I actually checked the ingredients to make sure we didn't pick the same one while I was thinking. I was like, is it the same one? It the same? Uh, palm oil, shea oil, sunflower oil, palm kernel oil, and... Or. And <laughs> or. or saffle oil. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm glad we didn't do the first five. We were thinking about it. I know. Hydrogenated <laughs> vegetable oil. Okay. Palm kernel oil. All right. Soybean oil. Okay. Chocolate. 2% okay. or less of lactose milk. This sounds this exactly salt, the same thing. Salt. Lectin soy. Oh my gosh. Is this PGPR. A- vanillin. Artificial flavor. And baking soda. Oh, but it's not. It's Ooh. not. The oh, end throws you off. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, so we're, oh man, we have a very similar ingredient. You are this. way too far away from the mic. Oh, I know, because I'd be screaming into it if I if I went up close. Um, oh man. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. Mm. Let's see. Okay, so very similar to Milk Duds, but not as obvious. I mean, not as hard to get. Let's think. 
Uh, I mean, you you guessed you guessed Milky Way, so it can't be Milky Way. You would have you would have immediately. Recognized I would have compared the, the same, list. Yeah. yeah, you would have <laughs> immediately. Are there other um, ingredients in Milky Way? I haven't had one in forever. Are there peanuts in it? I thought there were. No, I I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. I'd have to you know look at my camera. I'd have to go eat one. <laughs> you know, it, I I don't know if that's actually one of them in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh no, I I don't think it is. <laughs> uh, I'm just messing with you really hard. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Ooh, this is gonna be tough, man. Um, uh, well, there's things like Rolos. It could be Rolos. Um, there is like caramel stuffed thing, not Milky Way. Uh, there's Musketeers. Uh, um, hmm. I'm gonna go with uh. Ooh, but it could be it could be cow tails. But is cow tails a nougat? Hmm. No, I don't, I'm not What's sure. What's in a nougat? A nougat? I'm not sure. That's a really good question. Uh, I'm gonna go with Rolo. I'm gonna go with the Rolo. Ding ding ding! Really? Yeah, it's a Rolo. Oh! I'm two points. Oh god, that was my hardest mm. one. Now I'm what? Ner- yeah. I'm- oh, yo, science bro, right, up in right, here, right. brother. I'm gonna get this trophy. Oh my gosh. All right, you ready? All right. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. Oh, man, I forgot this is a, like, I think a long, yeah. Because <laughs> the ingredients on this one were, like, not just, like, a little section. It was, like. A million things. A million things. And I was like, okay. All right, let's go. All right, uh, so here we, here we go. Uh, it is sugar, cocoa, if you didn't know. <laughs> uh, it says cocoa butter. Uh, skim milk, chocolate lactose, uh, milk fat, soy le- lectin, uh, artificial flavor, corn syrup, sugar, hydrogenate, hydrogenated <laughs> palm <laughs> kernel oil, and or, uh, yeah, we went to the shop and actually took pictures of ingredients. Yeah. Uh, milk, less than 2%, milk fat, cocoa powder, processed with alkali? Yeah. Okay. Uh, barley, malt, extract, lactose, salt, egg whites, chocolate, artificial flavor. We should never eat these guys. We get in trouble. Uh, yep, that's what I got. I think it's a Whopper. A Whopper? Yeah. Wrong. No, what is it? A Milky Way. Oh my gosh. (laughs) So they don't have peanuts. Well, it, uh, now here's the thing. It says it may contain peanuts. That just means May. it's made in the same like, factory. What, yeah, it's <laughs> no. That's for it. that's for allergies. That's a, like yeah. a serious warning. Yeah, but it says like right underneath. Ooh, All right. Well, okay. I officially lost. I can't recover at this. You point. You can't. No. Did I just win? Yeah. Woo! But let's keep playing. Yeah. Let's see if I can get any points. Probably not. Are you ready? Oh, I'm jamming out right now. Mm. This feel good. It feels. You feel it. You feel that. In the, I'm, no, I don't. I don't oh, feel it. Oh, it feels good. It's all on your side of the room. Yes. All right. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Corn syrup, sugar, mm-hmm. coconut. Okay. Vegetable oil. Parentheses. All the things that are in vegetable oil. <laughs> Skim milk. Almonds. Contains two percent or less cocoa. Almond joy. Uh. No. Ah. Wait. Yeah. I thought Wait. I took a picture of mounds, but it's Almond Joy. Is it really? Yeah. Yo, guys, look, you need a taste tester for chocolate. I got you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do, your, do your last ingredients. Okay. Last ingredients. Um, this, I think you're going to like this one. Probably not. I haven't right. liked any of them so far. See, it's so hard. This one, oh, this one was really hard. Yeah. Another cat fell. I don't know why you guys It's keep raining falling. cats in here. Yeah, it's like they keep falling off the uh, ledge <laughs> the of the window, uh, window seal. It's really funny. Uh, okay, here we go. Sugar, palm, ker- palm kernel, and palm oil. Okay. Cocoa, processed, in parentheses, with alkali. Non-fat milk, lactose, milk protein concentrate, soy. Um, Oh my god! With uh, tr- natural and artificial flavors, peppermint oil colors added, yellow five lake and blue one lake. 
peppermint and it's yellow and blue. Now, well, okay, I will say that the, they say colors added and it's in parentheses yellow five lake, blue one lake. I think I think it's to try to get a color. What kind of peppermint candies are there? Oh, it's Andes. You got it. Yeah. That's I, it. Okay. Ah. All right. Well, are you ready Good for your job. last one? Yeah. What is it? It's surprisingly similar. Sugar, corn syrup, chocolate, cocoa, invert sugar. I don't know what that invert. is. <laughs> they did it upside down. Yeah. Milk <laughs> fat, egg whites, lectin, cocoa butter, oil of peppermint, PGR, PGPR, natural flavors, milk. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. So uh, I don't think it's, it's not Andy's. Um, Oh, man. Junior Mints. No. Ah! It's York Peppermint Patty. Oh, York. I, oh, man. Okay, I'm redeemed. So close. It's one to four. <laughs> okay. Oh. But maybe I'll be able to redeem myself a little bit because we have one final challenge. We do have one final challenge. And, it, and this was, I mean, I'm sorry I already won. but You did. But you've been touting yourself as a taste tester. Yes. So let's see if you're worth all your brag. Okay. Do you want me to like close my eyes for this? Am I going first? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you close your eyes. I'll close my eyes and I'll I describe have what we're doing. A candy bar. Okay. I'll describe what, you, what I'm doing and then you you get it. So. Right. But he's gonna blind taste test it and he has to guess what it is. Yeah. I was trying to describe right, while calm, you were doing. Gosh. Calm down, oh, man. Man. Sheesh. Okay. I'm closing my eyes. All right. Get the candy. Put it in front of me and then put it in my mouth. Listeners, <laughs> I apologize in advance for the loud noises and crinkles. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe, you know. So, yeah, uh, so we were, so when we were doing this, we were like in the grocery store and we're like, okay, look, how do we, how do we get the ingredients? How do we buy a chocolate or candy bar without the other person knowing? So it was really funny because we were trying to avoid each other in the grocery store. So like I ran barreled into like an aisle and then I grabbed the pictures that I needed and the candy bar, ran to the front, checked out, ran to the car, dropped on the car so she couldn't see what it was. Uh, spoiler alert, she's not going to get it because uh, I'm pretty sure it's uh, going to be impossible. Um, let, me know, let me know. Are you going to come over here and feed it to me? Is that, is that like what's going to happen? I can't see anything. I just have my eyes closed. Oh, oh I, okay. All right. Yeah. I feel you. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Um. Well, it tastes really nougaty. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm eating a musketeer's. <laughs> okay, I'm back in my chair. I think I'm eating a musketeer. <laughs> I can't talk. You need to talk. <laughs> Well, I feel like a dog with a butter on <laughs> peanut butter in his mouth. I can't talk because you look ridiculous. Okay, um, what do you think you're eating? You said you think you're eating a musketeers, or do you have a, a second guess? Oh, he does not like it apparently. Yeah, this is a candy bar I don't eat. On the oh, leg. I, I clearly don't know anything about your candy preferences. Um. Mm, it's either Milky Way or Musketeers. I haven't had a Musketeers in a very long time. I'm going to go with Milky Way. Eh. Oh, is it? It's a Musketeers. No way. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't it's know okay. You, I didn't know you didn't like them. <laughs> no, it's all right. I, oh, man. Okay. So, four points. You're maxed out. So, right, at most, I can get two. Well, all I right. Get, so, I'm going to well, close my eyes. My eyes are closed. Right, I'm going I'm to leave. You got this. You got to talk to Wait, the you're audience. leaving? I have to go get it. Where on earth did you hide your candy I, bar? I'm not telling. Guys, he's gone crazy. Now my eyes are closed. I can't even drink bourbon or anything. Yeah, I'm definitely talking to them about how you took forever in the candy aisle. And how I was super, super fast, which is why you clearly picked harder candy options than I did. Yeah, that's a good idea. You guys probably can't hear him, but he wants you to know about the kitchen chemistry design. If you like ramen or just food in general and you're interested in what kind of chemicals are in there, or if you've ever taken organic chemistry or biochemistry, you can learn all about the different chemicals that are in your food. And we made a really cool artsy design that is on the shop. You can get it on a t-shirt. 
Um, I think it's on an apron and it's probably on some other things. So you should definitely go check it out. It's super cool ramen. My mom thought it was a salad, but you know, <laughs> I'll take what I can get. Oh, are you here? Okay. Uh oh. Oh no, you have this like zen moment. It's just chocolate. There's no candy inside. What are you talking about? Of course there. Of course there's. It. I mean, what's well, it's chocolate, obviously, but which chocolate? That's mean. I mean, I was gonna win this month. You should have chose harder things if you <laughs> if you wanted to win. <laughs> what do you it's taste? Really there? good. It's good, isn't it? It was perfectly square. Okay. It's definitely milk chocolate. Mm, okay. Um. Ooh. Uh, I see. She's got like a, a zen moment. Hum, hum, hum. I am one with the chocolate. It's not Dove. Ooh, okay. So not Dove. I don't know. It's gone now. What? Oh, oh. Um. Oh, I don't know. It's not Hershey's. It's not Dove. It's at least it's not plain Hershey's. It could be like Symphony or something. Mm. Um, you can do this. I believe in you. I don't know. It was perfectly square. Mm-hmm. All the bars I know about have rectangles. Uh. Um, I don't know why my eyes are still closed. I already finished eating it. <laughs> you, um, were, you were taking in the effect. Yeah. I don't even know. Um. I thought there was going to be a caramel in the middle, but it wasn't. Um, it was really good. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I'm feeling like. Better because you had chocolate. Well, always. But um, <laughs> what is the kind that comes in a black bar? Eleanor and I used to get them with like salt or hot pepper in them. I can't tell What's you. What's that brand? I can't tell you. Um, I can't tell you. I'm sorry. I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna have to Google it. Okay, that's fine. Google it. Okay, chocolate bar that comes in a black. I'll allow it. I mean, I've already won, but I know. But you know. I just want to. So for our like, listeners, yeah, yeah, look, you gotta get get on that patron program if you want to get some more of this. Okay, we literally, if you think we talk smack now, I mean. You got to listen to us in our coffee breaks because our coffee breaks are just crazy. And we don't have any advertisement in the patron videos at all. So if you ever get an advertisement in these regular videos, you don't get that in the patron. And it's just five bucks, okay? Don't go buy yourself a Starbucks coffee. Help us out. You get some really cool science. And the patron video that we just put out last month was about space. Yeah, it was amazing. So I got to talk a little bit about how it was uh, landing a awesome rover on mars you know and how cool that was being in nasa so you definitely want to check out the patron program if you haven't already lint excellent eh. what is it it's cadbury you know i was gonna say cadbury but i didn't know it came in squares i've like almost never had cadbury before so everyone look this was a great episode i mean we got to have chocolate yeah to talk about chocolate we both learned a lot of things about chocolate and if you stick around and you're a patron, you're going to actually have us around to do some science. We're going to taste test. We are. And see how good some of this chocolate is. I just did science. I just found out that Angel Envy Rye finished in rum tastes really good after Cadbury chocolate. Oh, I need I need. What about I, Milky Way? It was on Three Musketeers. I don't think it's going to do anything for your, uh, whis- for your whiskey. It does taste like redemption. Because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> don't like musketeers. Oh, well, oh. you know, before we end, I should congratulate you. You are this month's king of science. Woo! And you yeah. get the bird statue for the yes. whole month. Harp eagle. I'm sure you're going to show it off to me at every it's moment, every time I walk by. It's going to be on my desk. Every day I'm going to kiss it. Mwah! Please don't like... get your germs <laughs> on our mahogany harp eagle statue because I want it back next month. Look, if you're listening, you need to go to I take, I'll take my science neat dot com. Yeah, you enter that giveaway. Okay, S- subscribe to us. We got some really cool stuff. If you think we're funny, if you don't think I'm funny, I'm sorry. But if you do think we're funny and you do enjoy listening to us, please stay tuned. Subscribe. Get in that giveaway. 
you know, we're going to keep bringing you some really awesome science. I mean, we talked about the Mandela effect at one point. We've talked about chocolate now. Video we're, games. Video games. Color we're, vision. Yeah, I don't know what we got up next, but I do know that the month of April is going to be pretty awesome because we're going to have something called Earth Day. At the end of April. That's right. It's and be we're going to awesome. be we're gonna be talking about some really cool stuff on Earth Day. Absolutely. And in the meantime, if anyone ever asks how you want your science, tell them you'll take it neat. Have a great Friday, great weekend, or a great day wherever you are. See you next time.